first of all, um, thank the Republic of India for giving us the opportunity to submit proposals to work together. This is not the first project. Um, there have been projects in the past with India. Um, the only thing I can say is that uh, the projects that we are doing now should have a good start and should have a good end. That's the most important thing when we receive grants or loans from a foreign country. Uh, in most cases, you see we receive sometimes grants or loans from countries. We receive material and then it's closed in a door. That's what happened most of the time. But that is not the policy of this ministry anymore and also not of this government. We want to complete projects and if we can show that we can do it, yes, I agree. Then Dr. Inder can submit the next proposal. So, so we are happy that you uh, have supported us with other projects. And um, this Aerobolus plan in, in Dardat is in Nikeri, um, should also get attention um, um, uh, for the community. These are community projects, so we are happy that we can implement something there. And we have our ministry that is responsible for maintenance in time. And indeed, they came, uh, the, uh, the director came with a proposal, why not also in the east side of Suriname. So we would like to consider that also. Um, and then I would like to thank the members of the steering committee. It's a big committee, a lot of persons, um, for their support and critical review because uh, this is a small amount, but we have used the same procedure for uh, tendering. So that takes time. You know, so many weeks to publish, you have to make a, a, a tour, terms of reference, publish it, wait for advice, and then the committee make a final decision. And then the execution is there. That will uh, take also some uh, time. So reg um, with regard to the contractor, um, we have seen the standards in the contract. So I hope that everything is done according to what is mentioned in the, in the terms of reference. All these projects are in different stages of implementation. And I'm very happy today to participate in this uh, signing ceremony. This is the first project under QIP, not only for Suriname, but for the whole of Latin America. This is the first project. And I must congratulate Suriname for this pioneering project that you have undertaken. You are a, such a valuable partner for us that uh, in Latin America, you are the first to undertake QIP. And uh, I'm very happy that Ministry of Public Works has taken the lead of all the project uh, applicants. And uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, uh, particularly, I, I must thank uh, the team that you have, the Ministry of Public Works team, and uh, also the steering committee. I must uh, 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 you know, acknowledge that the president himself, immediately after uh, the visit of our president, constituted in August 2023, presidential steering committees, uh, for, uh, especially for India, for India. That is, uh, India is, uh, I think, only country to deserve that kind of uh, treatment. And I'm uh, grateful to the president for uh, constituting such committees and for also inviting me to that uh, when he uh, constituted the committee and he, on the inaugural day, I was also invited. And I've seen the hard work of the steering committee and uh, personal attention paid by the president himself. That, that has led to this chronology which uh, Secretary, Permanent Secretary Mr. Gangobasan Singh mentioned, how did we have traveled this journey of uh, reaching uh, the signing stage. So it was not so easy because the quick impact project is first of its kind for Latin America and for, uh, for the embassy also this is the first. And so uh, we had to take baby steps and um, uh, finally we all agreed that to move on and I must congratulate uh, one more time on the price discovery that we made. Originally, the, est the estimates for this particular project, uh, DC Rebels Plain Park, was about 48 to 49,000 US dollars. And uh, because of the open tender that policy that we had, and uh, wider reach, the publicity that was given, and also the uh, Nikiri uh, uh, branch of the you know, Ministry of Public Works, Mr. Badal and Shanti Bhavan, I think, I met them several times. 
and uh, the, there was wider publicity and many participants. I think there are nine, eight uh, bidders for this particular project. And because of that, the prices uh, competition was there, established, and the prices come down to forty-eight to forty-nine thousand dollars to forty-one thousand five hundred US dollars. So it's a major achievement, and uh, the savings that affected, uh, uh, you know, definitely uh, has been taken note of, and we uh, we are very happy that you know uh, with this project. Uh, not only this project, but all other projects, uh, because of open tender approach that we have, uh, the price discovery will be made, and that will be beneficial to the society at large. And uh, this particular project, I must say, I, whenever I visited uh, Nikuri, several times, it's like second home for me. Uh, all ambassadors visit Nikuri, and uh, I also visited several times. And this uh, park, uh, you know, I visited several times, not once. And uh, and uh, I must uh, say that the park will definitely uh, see a lot of footfalls from the public once it is renovated, rehabilitated. And uh, I know the incidence of diabetes, cardiology problems in uh, Suriname, and uh, because of the lifestyle uh, changes which have occurred in the world. And these parks are very, very important, uh, which will play a very important role in the lives of people in and around living in and around uh, Robles Plain. And I'm very happy that we are part of uh, this exercise to maintain not only public health,